so for me as an artist, Raymond, you the man that made this beat. For me as an artist, bro, like I could have gave you the, you know what I mean, the normal, you know, club anthem or what, what, and sound and make it sound like it came from the USA, bro. But I have to. I, I'm thinking of a bigger plan here, bro. I'm thinking of my children's children's children. Do I want them to fall in that same trap or so? Fuck me, bro. We just made this song two years ago. That was the first record we did together. We released other songs, but I kept it. It was like, yo, I will release it when the time is right. I will release it when the time is right. I will release it when the time is right. Being a young producer around this time, it's, it's very difficult for a lot of people, man, you know. We're highly inspired by Metro Boomings, Travis Scott, you know, Cytoven, and all these guys. So, a lot of producers, you know, they're trying to imitate that sound. Because that's what we see every day. When you switch on TV, we're looking at, we see Metro booming all day. But just being around, you know, like, these guys coming up with something original makes me proud to be original, you know. I want to make the inside comfortable. They must hear, they must pull it. Hey, what is this man saying, bro? Because maybe they was colored men, so that's it, but when they hear me rap, they don't like it because it's hum. Oh, wait. No, they colored brass, bro. They raise me like, like, and from the younger generation, because they used to like Drake and Future mm, and mm. Now they're listening to that all day, all day, all oh, day. Yeah. Now yeah, I come with that. It's, it's like, it fucks up your ear because you're thinking like, yo, I've been now conditioned to listen to just that sound. Mm. And now you bring me this with this. Mm. And even though I can understand it, it's not what my ears are liking. It's too mm. rough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's too rough on my ear. That, rolling the R's and the auto tune mm. and the, you know, that's, that I can do is gentle. Mm. My ears used to it, the sound is oh, natural. Yeah. But what you're doing, that's for it. So that sound typical? Yeah. That's not the fairy dust. Yes. That needs to be loud. That's, 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 that's the catchy part. Yeah, that's the catchy shit. The song Yasses. The B was named Yasses. That's crazy. When he sent me the beat, the beat was named Yasses. Okay, and then I had written a song in my book. As you can see, I'm one of the few rappers who. So got books, bro. Uh, one page, hard cover, A4, I'm to school books, and the shit breaks, look, my shit breaks. All the time I'll be sellotaping it, as you can see, because I don't have to waste paper. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm sellotaping my books so that they don't break. You understand, the shit breaks like that, and so I have to sellotape them. But anyways, the point of the story is that in one of these books, I mean, this is like one of nine books. So, so in one of those books, I had a song written called Yasses. And the chorus went, baby ass, yes. baby drop it down to the floor, you ask. Yes. Exactly the same as it is in today's time. That's the chorus I wrote, but I wrote that shit in like 2013, like when he sent me that beat, 2013, 2014. To be honest, it's a quite a, a quite joint. But at that time, I was so desperate to work with youngster because I didn't have anything. He hit me up saying like, yo, be, send me beats, but I didn't have anything, you know, that I could send him. Then I thought to myself, I'm like, you know what, why not take um, a quieter joint and try Afrikaans, English, slang, you know, the all this Cape Townian thing going on. So you're taking quieter, quieter is hood music, strictly hood music, text music. Then you put this colored guy doing what he's doing, dog. I thought that would be crazy. And for me, that was going to be something like a game changer. But I didn't know how the song was going to come on. Then we went to studio, we recorded the song. I was like, ah, okay, you know, we'll see. Drop the song afterwards, just seeing the hype around it and, you know, just taking it in. I was like, okay, we have, we have an anthem, you know. And it is an anthem for Cape Town, man, you know, we have, we have an anthem. I've had Yasses for a while and 
Like I just usually wait for Beyonce to go, okay, next focus on this project, next focus on that project. So he hit me up, he was like, yo, up next, Yas is the track we're releasing, start getting it ready, and uh, I jumped on the engineering for that. Um, because Yasis was actually recorded at another studio, Youngster sent me all the sips, he sent me the beat sips, uh, the instrumental like edits and actually a, a session, a recording session of it. And at the time we recorded it, the verse, the one line actually went 25 mixtapes and he never got it. So I, uh, I pointed that out to him and I was like, listen, at the time he was on 27 mixtapes. And I was like, listen to it, let's redo some of the verses uh, just to make it sound newer, to update that one small thing. And we ended up recording some of the verses over here in the studio. And um, this is also where I mix the master the track. This doesn't happen every day for the Capstad Nayers. This does not happen every day for Capstad. So give me my moment, my bro. Just give me the moment. I must give a shout out to each and every one of those Owens here behind me as well. My brother is here. My big brother is here, my bro. My brother from the streets is here. I took this man on the streets of poverty in Cape Town, my bro. And now look where he's standing. He's standing by the awards, bro. Lyricists of the year. It proves that lyrics matter. I want to give a shout out to all my family watching us at the moment. My mother, my father up above, my bro. I hope I make you proud, daddy. And my brothers, my sisters, everyone in Cape Town, the Cape Flats, the townships, Nyanga, Kuguletu, Hanover Park, Mendenburg, Vitapum, Aggressive Park, Ottery, Elsie's River, everywhere that's a ghetto. I'm doing this for you, so it's Cape Town for life. Salute us, Kansas! This is more of what needs to be done in today's time than just us doing carbon copies or almost like parodies or or, or imitations even of what we hear in the States. I'm tired of that shit. I don't want my songs to sound like Migos or Future. They are dope artists, but they already exist. They already painted that photo. I can't do it. I can't do it the same, because you're going to tell me, ah, you know, you're trying to sound like this, but it's not like that. You're almost there, but I mean, you can do better. I mean, you're almost there, but just do that ad lib like that. Because then you're going to start boxing me into the, the Future box, the Migos box. You know, I mean, to be exactly like that. The number two. And I'm not good at being number two. Same. <laughs> I'd rather be the first motherfucker to scream Caps at Naya or Yasis on a song and make a chart that way and, and change the game. Mm. The shit that Capetonian artists make will last forever because we rap about the real issues and the real topics. We don't talk about money and cars so much because we know the reality of the people we're trying to reach is not that. He can't relate to me flying back and forth in hotels and living the life. He can't relate to that here. I mention it, but he can't relate to the whole thing. So. You know, we give them the, the raw footage, the true, the true reflection of Capstad. And I hope more artists are going to do that, which, I'm, which as I said, with the cypher, seeing Owens like in the plane, in the street, seeing guys doing the cypher still, I mean, still at D's holding it down with the cyphers, and seeing all local shows popping up, open mics, battles with the owner block. I mean, there's definitely a heartbeat now in Cape Town. We just have to make it beat strong and long. Youngster, CBT, Bajan, Kiki, this is Caps, that's a revenge. This motherfucker right here, he's a fuck legend. I used to know him when he was flipping them burgers, man. Ah, bro, at McDonald's here in fucking Lavendale. This man is from the park, get those. It's nice when the get those, you know. Yeah, Kiki, now I'm not still a brow, like to talk a lot. Yes, I play my music loud, the neighbors call.